I'm AJ Rochester for Reality Wanted and we have Misty Copeland here, part of a seven Emmy nominated show. Yeah, that's pretty insane. <laughs> it's, wow, it's impressive. It really is. It must feel pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, I never thought I would have an opportunity like this as a professional ballerina to be a part of such an incredible show that's really changing the way America's view dance. Uh, you uh, have shared openly your story of growing up and you attended the police club in for ballet lessons? Uh, yeah. The Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's an, it's an incredible organization. And, you know, again, you know, it's so hard as Americans. In Europe, it's so ingrained in the culture. I think the arts and dance and music, um, the classical music, but um, it's just not. And I think shows like this are opening up our eyes and, and programs like I came from at the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. And it's interesting because a lot of the dancers have said that uh, when they were growing up, they grew up watching this show and it really developed a certain mentality and this year everyone is saying that it's the best year ever and I think it's because they grew up watching this show. Yeah, it's incredible that that's now a part of our culture yeah. um, and it's so important. It's exactly what we need. We need more support of the arts, especially dance. So it's awesome to watch this the, the next generation and they're like, oh, I grew up watching it. Now they're on the show. It's pretty crazy. <gasps> Speaking of inspirational dancers, who do you think is the best dancer or your favorite? We'll say favorite. My favorite? I have a little crush on Ricky. <laughs> No, it's what we call in the dance world a dance crush, where they're just so freaking gifted that like you're like, oh my god, Ricky has it all. It's amazing. I mean, I'm not a dancer, but I just can't stop watching every little bit that he does. That's what a true artist does. It, it shows you um, as someone who may not know a lot about dance, but yet you're still drawn to them because mm. their technical ability, their performance, it all comes together, and it's just like the perfect combination. And the hardest part of the show is seeing people leave every week and tonight it was Jordan and Stanley. Uh, a lot of people seem very shocked and it's interesting because you guys didn't uh, interfere with the, the vote. Did America get it right? You know, I think for now, for this week, it was appropriate. I think it was maybe when you look at the, the, the big images that you think of Stanley jumping in the air and how impressive it is and his long limbs and how high he gets and Jordan's strength and technical ability, but if you really get into to what America wants to see. They want to see an overall performance. And I don't think that either of them really have, have matured and taken on that complete package and role. That certainly helps us understand the reasoning because we were all kind of shocked because Stanley just seemed to have springs in his feet. But I, I understand that. It, it's amazing. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, what advice would you give the, the rest of the contestants in adapting to each different style. You know, I'm actually really impressed and I feel like they each have adapted so well. But I think, again, just to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to look stupid at points and feel stupid. That's how you grow. That's how you explore. I think just, I continue to say this, but just be in the moment. I love it. We love you. You're Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. For all the latest news on reality TV and the hints and tips of castings, check out realitywanted.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch this video next. See you next time.